Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card you're making today. As you can see, it's this form of a Z fold card. Isn't it cute? Thank you. So, let me show you what I did. We're going to start off with our base, which is Early Espresso, and this is just half a, um, A4 sheet of cardstock cut in half along the long side, and we're going to do some scoring. So, the first score line we're going to do is at ten and a half centimeters now your scoring blade i'm using my trimmer here scoring blade is this light gray one here that you can't see but you'll see in a minute this one here light gray so we're going to score at ten and a half centimeters just like that and then we need to score at half of ten and a half centimeters which is 5.25 and this is why i use the the trimmer it's so easy with this and just score there and that's our piece done there so let's set that aside so we've got a little bit more scoring to do we've got a piece here of Sahara sand and this measures again the full width of an A4 sheet so this should be 21 centimeters let me just check here on my grid paper yeah 21 centimeters which is the full width of this piece of paper here, card stock, and we're going to do the same scoring again. We're going to score at ten and a half centimeters, and then again at five point two five. So let's go one, two, and in the middle, roughly about there. And you should have then like that two pieces. So that should be that score. So that's all the scoring we're going to do. We're going to do a little bit of cutting. We're going to cut this piece down. Now this is some of the Early Espresso Designer Series paper. And we're going to cut this down to three and a half centimetres, like that. And I'm going to cut a second piece because I'm going to need to... And this is just a six by six piece of Designer Series paper that I'm cutting down. Okay. We get rid of the, um, what you call it, the trimmer. Put it somewhere where it doesn't collapse on the floor. Okay, I'm going to bring our bit, bits back here and we're going to just fold all the score lines. So I'm just going to get my bone folder out. Here it is. So let's fold well on the score line. And this one is going to fold back like this. Give it a good score like that. Okay. And now we're going to fold going to fold these both ways because these are the movement for the card. So you want them to really work well and fold well. Okay. So set our card base aside and let's work with our little piece here for now. Now we are going to measure. I, you could do this by eye, or you could do this by spe specific measurements. So I'm going to mark on the back of this. Let's see what side I want. Yeah, I'll have this side. This will be my back. I'm just going to use a pencil to mark where I'm going to cut because I prefer to do this. And my cutting's not totally correct. With little pieces like this, this just works so much more easily for me. And then I'm just going to measure here where I want this to be as well. So I'm just making some pencil marks, you can see there. And then I'll just use this last little piece here, make another pencil mark like that. And then, yes, we are back to this cutting tool again very quickly. And we're just going to cut where we made those pencil marks. And hope that we've got it right. Okay, quite often this is the way I craft, just like this. And then if I need to give specific measurements, I measure it afterward to tell you. <laughs> but I find it so much easier to do it this way. Then if my cutting or scoring somewhere hasn't been perfect, 
this makes up for it. So while we've got these pieces out, let's stick them down. Okay. And let's see. Just like that. And then this piece in the middle here somewhere. That'll do. And then another piece at the end. Like that. So not too bad. Okay, so set that aside as well. Um, and let me see what other bits I have here. I have more designer series paper. This is a piece for prints. Now, the pe this piece of designer series paper actually um, is a freebie you can earn during celebration. So at the moment we're in celebration and for every £45 you spend you can choose a free item from the celebration catalogue. And this paper is one of the free items. So thought since it's free you may as well use it. And first, before we stick it down, we're going to do some stamping. And I'm using two stamp sets for this whole series, for this whole project. I'll show you them both now. Very Versailles and Flowers of Friendship. We're going to use both of these images and then the thank you. And we're going to be stamping everything in Early Expresso. So let's ink up our first image. And this is from Very Versailles. And just gonna stamp like that and it's meant to be a faded image so don't sort of think oh my something wrong with my set I can't stamp whatever it's meant to look like that it's meant to look a vintage faded image because it's meant to look vintage like something's been around for yonks so I'm just coming in here Doing a little bit more stamping from the top, as you can see, like that. So those are those pieces. Now I'm just going to give this a clean because I need to use my block again. I don't want to get too much ink all over me. And this is just the simple chamois. You'll see me use this a thousand times. It's absolutely one of the best inventions. So let's put this piece on and I have here a piece of whisper basic white I should rather say and we're going to just do some stamping on here again with early expresso and we're just going to do some here like that and then just a little bit at the top there okay and that's for our insert and then I have a little scrap here of um, basic white again and we're going to stamp our sentiment in the middle somewhere and then we're just going to cut it out freehand so there's our sentiment some close up our ring pad because we're finished with, with that now set that one aside to dry and let's stick down everything else so let's get our um, snail and all the measurements will be on the blog post on my website and the link to that is in the description box below so don't worry about that so we're just going to put these down on these inside panels like this uh, I think my snail's reached the end of its life, it needs a refill, so when snail doesn't want to work, Tombo comes to the rescue. And we're just going to put this one here. Now, if you want, you could put paper on these two sides, but to my mind, you're never going to really see it when it's standing like that or when you hold it like this. But course you could put paper there as well and then let's put this one in here I'm 
just like that. And now we can put our piece here and this is just going to fit across like this and then fold in like that. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of tumbo at either end, just like that. And then basically you're just going to put it wherever you want. Just taking your time to make sure it's lined up properly across the piece. Like that. I think I'm just going to move this a little bit so it's... I'm sorry if you can hear some noises outside. I do have the window open because it's quite warm here today. It's 25 degrees and I also, in my filming room, I have about seven lights on top of me. So it can get quite warm. So I've got the window open. So I really do apologise for any, for any noise you might hear. Unfortunately, that's part of life. So there we go. Let's cut out our sentiment while we're at it. So let's get the trimmer back out. And basically just cut as you wish. And I'm cutting this one quite close because it's quite a small band that it's sitting on. Let's bring this and put some adhesive on here. And then we're going to put this in the centre of our little band here. Just thank you. And now we're going to do some decoration. So I've used this die set here called the Pierce Blooms die and look at it I mean you've got every flower shape and leaves and it's just an absolutely brilliant floral set so many different die cuts you can make with this absolutely great you can make you know you can do die cuts in any color pattern you know out of paper whatever you wish and to save some time I've die cut a whole load of little bits as you can see and this little one's fighting me it doesn't want to come there we go and including this lovely bow and now we're basically going to arrange these wherever we want. So I know I want this big one here. As you can see, you get this little pierced effect on it as well. So let's have maybe this one here. And maybe this one here. And you can just pile them up as you so wish. Um, let's see, let's put this here. Tombow is great for this because you can just get out just a little bit of glue, not a lot, and that will just hold it down. Okay. And just going to put that there like that. I'm just seeing what I did on my other one. So let's get these two bigger flowers down. And I'm just putting the glue in the centre so if later I want to fluff these up I can. Um, where should I put this one? Maybe tucked in. Something like that. And then all these little itty bitty ones we can spread about. So we've got that one there. And that one over there. And the last one. Yeah. Trying to get some, trying to get some glue. There we go. I think there. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Where's my lid for my tomba? Here it is. 
Okay, then I've got some of these rhinestones and we're just going to use these as our flower centers because I think they are perfect for that. Of course they want to stick to me rather than anything else because that's just the law of life. Okay. And you can use whatever size you want. You've got the different sizes in here. And then however hard I try seem to use up the titchy ones first, it just seems to be the way it happens with me. I don't know why. Oh, come on. And one more titchy one. There we go. Whoops. So there is this, there is our card. You can see the one we did before. That's how it stands up. So what do you think? I hope you like them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want some more information about this project, as I said, the supply list, measurements, etc. It's the information is all on my blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. That includes the links to my Facebook group where I host monthly card online car clubs and classes. So do come and check us out. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.